hello and welcome to this episode of microchips so on the bench today we have a ham international jumbo this is a mark one and we're going to be removing some of the nastiness that's been put in over the years and making this old radio sing again so it's not in too bad condition outside and it was sold as working yes I use the term working very loosely so the initial switch on the signal meters seem to be red let's do some quick transmission tests so initially with the, the KC shift off we are a bit low on frequency but the KC shift does work so we'll be sorting that out and it gives or should we say it produces the 4 watts as it should do so now this radio has been modified by somebody somewhere probably numerous people in its life so we have red meters now I've seen people change these to blue and all sorts of colors this won't be happening I've got a plan for this to make them look original but with LED technology so as you can see the the case is a little bit battered but not too bad and inside doesn't look too bad to the eagle-eyed people there you're going to notice that the speaker is totally incorrect we're going to address that in a future video trying to find a speaker that actually fits there's a bit of a mission but we have found one but immediately we see why the meters are red and somebody thinks it's Christmas because they're clearly fairy lights so they are not staying so on the underside we have an EEPROM we have a piece of plastic that's bending the board I think I know what that's for we have an EEPROM that's taped up that's going to be coming out because I've got a plan for this we have a the external speaker socket that seems to have been taped up I'm going to try and restore that but first things first let's do something with these Christmas lights because they are definitely not staying in there so the other two wires have just been left dangling inside and they've connected them across one of the lamp cables which I suppose works well that was easy enough to remove and into the bin they go so looking at the back of the front of the radio you can see where the actual light enclosures are for the meters and they just come out with the twisting of the little metal retainers now I could put in a LED from the rear but we're not going to do that I'm going to try something different with this so here are the LED cob lights that have been using on signal meters on the UK FM modifications that have been doing and we're not running them at full brightness we're only running them at very low brightness but we mounted them in place a little bit of hot glue to keep them in place
and there we have them reinstalled back into the radio only thing that needs now is a current limiting resistor so I worked out that a 1k will drop it far enough so the LEDs aren't bright but they're bright enough and we switch it on and we have a nice incandescent colour should we say if you put this against a radio with an incandescent bulb they look very 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 similar a nice warm light and it's not too bright camera on this does make it look a little bit too bright but in in person it's not that bright but it gives a nice warm light and with it being a LED strip type the light is uniform and not centered into the central place like an LED would So overall, very happy with that. Anyway, that's it for this video. Stay tuned for part two as we carry on with this jumbo. Restoring it as best as we can to its former glory. Anyway, thanks for watching. And we'll see you in the next video.